Well, this wraps up the uh, last afternoon of Nickel 2010. And in two days, we've seen a very interesting diversity of papers. And as I indicated at the opening yesterday morning, uh, we have to challenge the risks and unknowns in the future of nickel. And as engineers, develop processes that can offer more flexibility to the companies who are producing nickel. And I certainly have not been disappointed in the papers that I've had the pleasure of listening to in the last two days. The laterites, uh, there were two features I thought that were nice new developments. And one of them was the selective reduction in sulfurization of nickeliferous laterites. I think that's got an interesting path ahead. Another very nice surprise was the news from Turkey that one of the laterite deposits there is amenable to atmospheric leaching. And uh, that offers a great deal of <coughs> process opportunity. There was some interesting discussion on the rheology of the Australian laterites. And the two environmental papers that caught my eye were the ones that have been presented with the uh, <coughs> bio-treatment of mine wastewaters and using rice chaff as a, a medium to grow the bacteria. And that was all very good thinking, I thought. And the extractions we saw were very promising. And the other one was the medical recognition technology uh, to load resins with uh, cage molecules that will trap nominated uh, deleterious elements like mercury. And I think that's got a lot of potential. Lonman offered uh, an impressive suite of pyrometallurgical papers this morning. And the improvement to the accuracy of the endpoint in their converter operation is very commendable and, and will produce a much tighter uh, range of quality in the map central refining. I, I think the discussion on nickeliferous pyrotite was a good history lesson and uh, as Arthur Barnes has indicated uh, we have an opportunity waiting for the right time. I, I really would like to thank all of the authors for their contributions uh, and look forward to the subsequent review process for the special edition. And uh, would like to thank the audience for their time, interest and attention, for their questions. And uh, would like to invite Barry Wills now to close the conference. Thank you, Norman. There's not a lot uh, that I need to add to what Norman just said. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank Norman himself, not just for chairing this last session, but for being a very able consultant uh, over the last couple of years, isn't it, uh, leading up to this com conference. Um, Norman, as you know, represents uh, Extrata Process Technology, uh, Process Support, so sorry. And um, I'd like to thank uh, XPS for their very valued sponsorship of this conference. Um, we really do appreciate this. And finally, I'd like to thank you all, whether you're um, chairman or whether you're authors or just delegates. Uh, a successful conference is based on people. And if we've got the right people, we'll get a successful conference. And I think this has been a successful conference. So thanks to you all. Um, I'd like to now invite you to attend the next Nickel Conference, which we've decided today it's probably going to be held provisionally uh, in Cape Town in November 2012 and it will be running back to back with Process Mineralogy, a three day conference, then Precious Metals, again, a two day conference, and then Nickel. So I hope uh, we'll see you there. Uh, you'll be alerted um, as to when these conferences are, if you keep your eye on MEI online and you keep your eye on the MEI blog, you'll, you'll find out all the information on these conferences. 
So thanks again. I think I think the weather's helped, doesn't it, this this week in in bringing people together and uh, helping us to network. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I certainly have enjoyed meeting you all, and uh, we'll see you at the next one. So thanks very much.